Hello again, it's me, Phoenix Fire 42. Yep, that's right. Your eyes do not deceive you, merely your ears. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, aren't you supposed to be dead? You haven't posted anything in, like, seven months? Is it seven months? Recording here on YouTube again. Well, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so, school ended for me, and now it's summer break, kind of. And even though I'm still going to be very busy, I have a lot of summer programs that I'm doing, uh, I do have more time than usual. And so I thought that maybe I'll try doing some more videos. Just for fun. Uh, who knows if I'll last very long. But I might as well have some fun with it while I can. That being said, what am I doing here? Um, in this blank world, or so it appears, uh, that is clearly modded with the little fox down there and the the horses and zebras and stuff and the birds well if you're starting to pick piece it together I am uh, slightly lagging for one so let me just let's take it down a little bit and that should be good um, I am here on this new world that I created and I have a new mod pack that I also created or, or compiled rather that is I'm deeming dinosaurs 2.0 now oh also my skin is an elf skin because I've been playing on this Lord of the Rings server and I'm elf so that's what I have to say to that so yes I'm here on this Minecraft world dinosaurs 2.0 now if you remember dinosaurs 1.0 was my most popular series and videos on my channel. Um, the first episode, I think, has over 2,000 views, which is pretty uh, pretty impressive there. And personally, I would say my commentating skills on that were like a, a C-. Um, and it's my most popular video, so... <laughs> I ate. That's fair, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but let me explain the mod pack a little bit. So, as you can see, this is not normal world generation. Um, I think, I forget what it's called. There will be a, a list in this first episode of all the mods in the description. I'm not going to do it every episode, um, but just for this first episode. So, if you guys want to know what I'm uh, using and if you want to play along or whatever. I'm also using a special seed. It's called Pyramid 1. And I've actually played on this seed a lot in uh, vanilla as a... Uh, vanilla survival server with friends that I spent days on, literally. Um, oh, why can't I run anymore? Oh, I'm out of food. So I'm kind of familiar with the landscape. Like, I'm used to this plain, and then over there, there's a mix of biome swamp. Um, this is, that's a, what is that? There's a big jungle, and then there's some mountains over there. Um, so I'm a little, sort of familiar with the terrain, but with this, mod that changes the terrain everything is still different um, I chose this mainly because I wanted a mesa biome because my build is kind of centered around that uh, last season we decided to build zoos or zoo enclosures or whatever we didn't get very far we only got like a couple dinosaur enclosures or maybe even one um, and we also did a lot with the zoo or mo creatures creatures mo creatures creatures uh, this time we're gonna be focusing more on the dinosaurs um, we'll still be doing stuff with Mo Creatures and all the other mods that I've added, which, um, uh, let's see, let's talk about a unique atlas. This is just a really cool mod, uh, or map mod. So instead of a mini map, we have these books. They're pretty cool. Chisel just gives me a lot of building blocks, um, which is very nice. Mo Creatures, you guys know what that is. Fossils and archaeology, that's the dinosaurs. Um, mantle, I don't even remember what mantle is. Uh, yeah, uh, Pam's Harvest Craft, that's just more food. Streams mod makes um, water generation more realistic, and then Tinker's Construct allows us to create some pretty cool tools. And I actually forgot I added this in. Ooh. All right, cool, that's ex that's exciting. Uh, what is this mantle mod? I can't remember what this is. Maybe it's a core mod or something. I forget. Whatever, we'll find out. Um, also, something else that I'm going to be doing differently this... Um, See this series is I'm going to be having missions or I think I'm going to call them goals 
and it's going to pop up right now. So our goals for this episode, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, first, we're going to get some iron, which we already have, uh, because before I started recording, I did a little bit of grinding. Um, we're also going to be, or just getting the basics that everybody has seen a hundred times over with every Minecraft Let's Play, so I didn't want to do that again for you guys. Our second mission is to find the lab. Now, uh, you may be thinking what that is, and so I've built something already in this world, in creative, in the Mesa biome, and it's basically going to be the um, starter point of how of our build for this series of our main build what we're going to be doing um now i'll explain it more when we get over there because that's something that we're going to be doing we're going to because i i uh i was trying to find it when i s logged in today and i couldn't find it so hopefully we can actually find the lab um other than that we're going to try to get some po fossil processing going may that may not happen and then uh, well, the first, actually, the first goal would be to explain um, how the series is going to work, which I already did. So check. Uh, what is this? This is, looks like a a rattlesnake or something. Uh, let's kill it so we can get an egg. Python. There we go. We'll keep that. Pythons are cool. So let's start with going over towards the lab area because uh, I already have some tools and I just want to show you guys the lab. Okay, I'm about to enter into the Mesa biome. Just over there is that swamp that I was co coming from. Uh, I just had to travel west. Now, the lab is some distance that way. Um, there's a birch forest over there, and then more swamp, and more forest this way. So, here's the first plateau of the Mesa. Uh, probably this terrain generation um, mod that I have installed. My favorite part about it is the Mesa biome generation. It, uh, it's much more realistic and it just looks really cool. See what I mean? Like, it's all, it's much more straight up, I guess, rather, or compared to the vanilla generation, which is much more mountainish. This feels like a Mesa. Granted, I've never been to the Grand Canyon or whatever, but this is what I would imagine a Mesa to look more like. Okay, so I believe the lab is somewhere within these two plateaus. Over that way is the spawn, and somewhere in between these is the lab, I think. We shall see. Um, having Not having food is being very challenging, so maybe rather than getting some fossils started... Oh, looks like a creeper blew up here. Uh, we should focus more on getting food. So I'm going to change the mission and now it is no longer uh, fossil grinding or whatever it is find better food boom uh, so let's go ahead and travel up this I don't want to ruin the mesa terrain so I'm just going to kind of build with it so it doesn't look weird because who knows we might want to build something over this way okay here we are at the top uh, ooh this is nice there's a nice oasis here. We will definitely do something with that. Uh, looks like the trees generated kind of strangely though, so we may want to kind of fix that. And the map map levels are kind of sucky, so let's change that. And we're gonna get a lag spike. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Who cares? I'll work on that off camera. Um, okay, I have two hunger bars. I don't actually remember seeing this at all, so maybe we are not in the right plateau. I'm pretty sure this is it, though. Okay, guys, I'm just cooking up this these few pork, pork chops that I had, as not having food is being very challenging. Okay, I got my pork chops, and now it is turning night, so we gotta find this lab quickly if we want to survive. But I think we're close. I, I think... We are... Oh, you know what? I bet it's... I think it's that one. Oh, jeez. Holy. That was... Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Be more careful. And keep going. Oh, is it that one? Or is it that one? Oh, shoot. Uh... Or is it that one? Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad at this. 
Uh, oh, 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 oh. There it is, guys. You can see the... Oh my gosh, there's a spider jockey. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in ages. There is the lab. It looks a little busy, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not entirely pleased with it. Like, it's not my best build ever. Um, but once you get closer, I think it looks a little better. Uh, and the front, the front needs some work. But we can do that later. So this is the lab. Uh, let's get inside real quick. Um, and you can just kind of admire the marginally decent uh, building skills that I have. Um, and here are just some basic... Oh, I forgot I even... Okay, I guess I gave myself some iron tools already. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we won't use those. Or, you know what? Honestly, because everybody knows what it's like to... Uh, get iron and just start out in the very beginning. So I gave myself a stack of iron and a stack of coal and I got... Okay. Wow. I kind of gave myself a lot here. I forgot. Because I, I built this lab um, like a couple weeks ago before I started recording. Um, as I've been thinking about this for a long time. This is the outline of wh where eventually we will be putting a tinker's smeltery. Um, but we're not at that point yet. And in here there's nothing. Um... And over here, there's nothing. Eventually, this lab will be extended underground. And we're going to be, instead of creating a zoo, our enclosures are going to be like specimen testing um, enclosures, I guess. Because, so imagine like underground, there's these, like you're on this path and then there's these big uh, rooms where there's dinosaurs or uh, there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex roaming around. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? I think it would. So that's what we're doing with our build theme. Um, but I just built this uh, first for proof of concept. And then to kind of start me off so I don't have to um, get all the basics again like I've done hundreds of times. But I did get some basics. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trade all of these basics that I got already for... Um, for these new stuff, this new stuff, and then just toss it out. Oh no, I think that's a creeper that I hear. Uh, let's just toss everything out, except this rattlesnake egg or python egg, and then here we are. Okay. So let's outfit our gear: uh, iron pickaxe, lumber axe for cutting down trees, and then a shovel. Then we got some coal, uh, footlong. These are the maps that I was talking about. Now this one already has been explored a little bit. So it saves it and I can uh, show you guys a little bit of what the world looks like. So here we are. Um, this is the rest of the mesa. Uh, over here, ooh, over here is where we spawned, right in here. And uh, this is the jungle. There's a village behind the jungle over here, and then there's mountains back here, um, and another swamp, and then there's another village within the swamp uh, over this way. So over here, there's a little interesting, um, kind of like another oasis, but I don't think there's water. It was just like an interesting place to build, so we might do something with that. Uh, do I have a bed in here? No, I don't. Okay, so that's another uh, goal that we have. Let's actually make some shears right now. Boom. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put this python egg away. And then let's go... Uh, try to find some sheep. I would say the best place to find sheep would be... Uh, let's go over to this forest. Kind of just straight this way. <clears throat> okay, guys, we made it to the forest, and there's a panda here. So, that's cool. Oh, shoot! Holy crap, that's an ogre. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we should have made iron armor before we came out here. I forgot about Mo Creatures mobs. Like, vanilla mobs I can deal with. I can deal but I cannot deal with mother effing ogres. Crap. Uh, let's see. Can I kill this snake? 
Apparently not. It's invincible. All right. So, okay. There's a wolf. Uh, well, what happened? Okay, this snake is. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Die, snake. Okay, the snake is dead, and the wolf is dead. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Uh, <laughs> um, I just want to find some sheep. That's all. Zombies, skeletons, birds. Oh my. Okay, zombies are after me. Let's get on this tree. I don't see any sheep. Oh, there's a bear. That doesn't help us. No sheep, though. Maybe this wasn't the best place to come. I also apologize for the kind of crummy frame rate. Um, I might... Ooh, there's a baby panda. I think we can tame this guy if we have sugar cane or something. But I don't want him to grow up, so we're probably not going to find sugar cane before he grows up. So, RIP. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I apologize for the crummy frame rate. I will try to fix that in the next episode. Maybe I'll get Optifine or Fastcraft and... Yes, sheep! And I'll try to fix that frame rate. Okay, we found... Oh, boy. Ooh, that's a cool biome over there. Also, fun fact... <laughs> Uh, this map is already updating for me, so I don't have to constantly update it or like open it to update. It automatically updates. The sheep is after me. There's goats here. There's creepers here. This is. Ooh, what the heck? What is this? There's a camp thing and a skull. It looks. So it must be from. Oh, there's a villager. Hot diggity dog. Why did I say that? That was a dumb thing to say. Uh, whoa. What the heck? I must, uh... Ooh, 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 a bed. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. Oh. Oh, this is the lifesaver. Hi. Wow. That's a pretty cool texture. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill him. This is my friend. He's His bed saved my life. Oh, there's a witch here, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta save the villager from zombies. Actually, never mind. She's fine. The zombie died. Okay. Um, looks like a Pam's Harvest Craft. Oh, the items are gone, so never mind. My point is invalid. Are you gonna attack me? Oh, no. Who's shooting at me now? Who, who dat? And there's creepers all around. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Don't shoot. Actually, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Okay. That's really cool. I wanted it to stay and look at it more, but uh, I think surviving is more important right now. Although, I would just respawn right there at the tent if I died because I slept in the bed. So, never mind. That's not as important. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Safety. Let's go back and look at that tent one more time. Also, I just wanted to point out how the mountains look with this mod. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I think some of the mobs have despawned. Don't do that to me. Don't give me that tone. Um, okay. Let's take this. Oh, did it just break? What the hell? Frick. Why did that just... Alright. Yes! Relic scrap. We got fossils. We got fossils, indeed. Nice. Okay. Uh, what is this? Analyzer and a... Uh... What are these called? Archaeol... Oh, jeez. Alright, I forgot that that happened. Archaeology... Workbench. There we go. Nice. Okay, so let's head back to the lab. Yeah, sound effects. Woo. Here we are, back at the lab. Oh, yeah. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Yes. Oh, I need help. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, on the way to the lab, I got some more wood. So we'll just put that in there. Uh, let's throw these things in here for now. Uh, actually, we should grab some wood and make ourselves a bed. Enter that in there. Throw these in here. Boom. And... 
boom, a bed. Okay, let's put this. Um, where's a good spot? I mean, I could put it right there. Uh, I'll just put it in here for now. Alrighty, that works. Kind of. Yep, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, okay. Nope. Now, uh, I believe it's actually time to end the episode. We have been recording for a solid, like, 20 to 30 minutes. So, I would say it's about time for us to wrap up. I know most of this episode was mainly just me explaining things and walking around. So I apologize for that, but it, I felt like it was necessary after being gone for seven months and then just randomly reappearing. Uh, I hope that you will come back for an, the next episode, and I hope that I will make a next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. So thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!